In this video, I'm telling you everything you need to know about running lava loon attacks like an absolute boss. And we're getting started right now. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Captain Nemo. Welcome to another Clash of Clans strategy video. Today, we're continuing our visit in the Town Hall 9 Discord community server war. There's a 50v50. I have part one up there and part two up there in a little bit as well so you can check them out if you haven't already but these are some really amazing hits and today we're going to be specifically concentrating on town hall 9 lava loon attacks and how you run them like an absolute beast these wars there's a hundred players in here they're all war beasts there's no witches or bowlers allowed so of course that sort of brings a whole bunch of different out of the box sort of attacks and in this case we're going to be looking at lava loon because next to which is a lava loon is basically the strongest attack in the game in my opinion at town hall 9 or really at a lot of other different town hall levels if you know how to run a lava loon attack at any town hall level you're going to destroy a lot of different bases and today we're going to be showcasing a whole bunch of really awesome ways that you can rip apart town hall 9 bases with lava loon let's get started all right, so let's get started. So successful lava loon attack. When you're running a lava loon attack, right, the key to it, there's a whole bunch of different ways to do it. You can run it with the queen walk. You can run it straight up. There, there are really many different ways. And the first one we're gonna take a look at is Momski. That's a he or a she. I'm gonna assume it's a she, because it's Momski. But maybe it's a he, who knows? <laughs> Anyway, so when you're running a queen walk or running a lava loon attack, what is the first thing that you have to do? You have to make sure that you take out the enemy queen and the clan castle. You have to get those things out if you want the loons to survive. And in this case, he or she, they, they decide to run a, basically a lava loon queen walk. Right, so he's gonna start the queen walk from somewhere. Have uh, the queen walk is one of the best ways to run any kind of attack because it gives you a lot of value. If you can keep the queen alive by making sure that the healers behind her stay alive, by raging them or pathing her the right way or whatever, she's gonna provide lots of value because she'll keep walking and taking apart a whole bunch of defenses and no garbage and a whole bunch of other stuff that you really need to get done. So a queen walk is a very good way to start any kind of attack and Mumsky over here does exactly that let's see starts the queen walk up top with the healers behind knowingly that the healers are not going to get hit by any of the air defenses you can see that normally when you're running a queen walk you know you, you want to have a plan A and a plan B because you never know where the queen's gonna go you can guess it all day long and then she's gonna go that way. You always want to have plan A and plan B, but in this case, she's doing pretty well. Notice the wall breakers behind the king to make sure that they have access to the wall because he wants the queen to go behind the king into that hot spot because that hot spot provides a lot of value, right? Take a look. So it gives you value for the air defense. You can pull the clan castle. It, you can get rid of the enemy expo, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's a, there's a, wizard tower over there so you can get rid of that a couple of more wall breakers inside and he can get to the next air defense and two actually yeah two air sweepers and the expo that is pretty pretty solid value right here look she's raging the queen making sure that she stays alive and no problem look how much of the base has been taken out just by this queen and notice where she is going she's going towards this air defense right here so in this case Look how much value he got, or she got, out of their queen walk, right? They took apart all of this. They took apart, they, they got one of the wizard towers. They got two air defenses, the third one going down. They got a wizard tower. They took 
apart the clan castle everything is good to go and there's no balloons or hounds has been deployed yet this is really good value another thing that's really important and very very good thing to do if you want to run a successful lava loon attack notice the uh, runway right there's a pathway that's what you want to do if the loons they're going to go towards defense so what you want to do is now that the queen is in you you kind of easily can path and see where they're going to go so in this case notice the queen is right up top on the the north right so he he carved the part of space and notice there's a cannon there's an expo there's a wizard tower up here right here you have that and you have all of these things all of these defenses that you know that the loons are going to go to so you can path his way and the loons into the base keep them close that way you can haste or rage or heal whatever it is that you're going to do you can do it on top of the loons and get all of them and get the most value out of your spells and getting the most value out of your loons this is just the best way to go and, and you can do that because you cut out the base and you can easily predict now where the loons are going to go as you can see right here the queen walk still going took apart the la well the third air defense and now he's going to send the hound in to of course soak up all of their defense you know all of the different mines and bombs as you notice and then loons right behind raging the men making sure they go in he doesn't even care about the queen why because you brought a skeleton spell with him for the back end there it goes right there with the rage underneath that will take care of the enemy queen and he doesn't have to worry about that otherwise she would have killed all the loons you definitely want to take apart the enemy queen his queen is still going barely there but going so and the, and the loons are right behind the base is gg there's not much left nice and clean he just went in from all of the the sides and just whoosh, did this to the base nice work that's how you run a lava loon base identification taking apart all of the key things and making sure that he has everything he needs for all of the things like the, the queen notice that he came in from the way different direction than the enemy archer queen but he knew that he was going to get her or i'm sorry she knew that she was going to get her way out by doing the rage and then the skelly spell on top so it, without that, the attack would have failed apart. You have to have all of these things in there, in your attack plan, if you want to successfully, you know, destroy a base like this. And Mumsky here shows us exactly how you do it. Nice job. Next up, we're going to take a look at another, another really awesome attack. There's so many here. I mean, I go all day, seriously all day i can go with these attacks there's so many really awesome attackers here so let's take a look loki loki going up against the uh, rod or rodman rod Maj, rod something okay take a look so he is bringing um queen walk again because like i said it is one of the most effective ways to go right you don't have to bring queen walk but and you'll see not everybody does but yeah he does bring a queen walk with him he brings in a bunch of loons he brings in some wall breakers because we're gonna see this is not a queen walk this is a queen charge what's he doing he's gonna be slamming the queen into the base let's take a look and see what he does right here so rages there's a jump right there as well i figure eight wall breakers plus a jump what is he gonna do with that he's gonna be there's gonna be some deep charging right here huh so he starts the king up top he's got the wizards behind at 12. he's got a couple of minions on the bottom over there by the west he's prepping the base for the queen walk right when you're gonna run the queen walk you want to make sure that the air defenses do not get your healers so you definitely want to make sure that she reaches the air defenses but the air defenses do not reach your healers as you notice right up here he is making sure that it happens he's also sending in a coconut loon up top but that is to pull all of the uh, any kind of air mines and things like that so it doesn't get, you know get rid of his healers so that's a really good way to go that's so, so i refer to as a coconut loon sometimes so he drops in the poison right in front of the queen he knows that he's gonna have to most likely either pop or a rager like he does right here because of the valkyries in the cc Valk in the cc bad idea you're gonna have to pop or rage the queen if he rages a little bit earlier he probably could have saved the pop but either way pretty nice he's using wall breakers double down with the rage because that gives him a better ability to try to get, get into the base right there jump so he has access to both of the expos the clan castle he has access to uh, the 
uh, air sweepers and then it, you know gets into the base a little more for the last air defense notice he's taken apart so much of the base and just the first time you're gonna see some loons going in loons with the hound of course loons and then a hound right in front look to pull all of those nice traps right there nicely done also to uh, distract the wizard tower right here so the loons can take care of it and now he's sending in the loons in the clockwise direction this is called a clockwise lalo as you can see the loons going behind the queen is still going and pushing through the base minions behind the loons for cleanup he's got a giant right here to distract this wizard tower just enough so the loons can get in and try to get a little bit more value out of them and that's done pretty well i like that again planning notice that he already thought about all of this he knew that the base was going to go that way and the queen was going to go in and then he's going to start a you know rotational clockwise lalo he knew that he was going to send in that giant in for the wizard tower to distract it so the loons have a little bit more time to get there all of that was happening he does a really nice job here as you can see the base is pretty much destroyed you have the healers right here and they're healing in look the goblins it's pretty funny uh, but the base is done a really nice job loki a plus i love the plan nicely done next attack next up we're gonna take a look at a really awesome level i'm going down the line here um number four huh I promise you, I'll show you attacks from the other world, uh, from the other side as well. They're just really good lava loon attacks here. So this one right here, this lava loon attack. Notice Toby going up against Sam. He does not bring any healers. He brings a straight up lava loon, and in this case, it allows him to bring a whole bunch more loons, another lava hound, and a bunch more minions behind. You kind of want some minions or something for cleanup, right? Because loons normally target defense first, so you you either want something behind to clean up. So I don't have to come back or just to make it in general either a queen walk or in this case a whole bunch of minions so let's take a look and see what toby does right here he suicides his heroes from the bottom from the west right there normally you want to suicide the heroes to take out an air defense like uh, the one right here up top um, it's close enough to where the queen can come in there and get it but he doesn't do that he decides to go from the bottom um, maybe it's a funnel he does end up taking one of the wizard towers but that's that's a good thing always especially when you're running loons right he does end up even maybe taking out the yeah he does take out the town hall and tries to take out the other uh, the other wizard tower it doesn't go that way though but he starts his oh yeah see he does that in order to he's doing what, what's he doing here notice this he, he he starts his suicide heroes from this side because he wants to funnel his laloon into the base he wants to runway his hounds and his loons into the base so he can predict where they're going a bit easier because if you can predict where the loons and the hounds are going you can lay the heels and get a lot more value out of the rages or whatever type of uh, spells that you're gonna put because the the loons stay more consistently together and therefore you can cover them easier with you know the spells nice and easy right so that's what he's doing over here he he cut up the base just enough to know that he's gonna send in the runway right over this way one two three four you see all this he he sends in the way he knows that his moons are gonna go that way so he's basically sending in and starting from six o'clock he's starting a counterclockwise la loon attack right here with the loons and the lava hound in front and let's take a look that's what he's doing yep loons behind a lava hounds in front to do the tanking to pull all of the air mines and etc and to keep all the defenses busy notice lava hound lava hound lava hound and the loons are right behind this is a counterclockwise lalo he's pushing his loons up top towards 12 and then around the base towards nine that's what because he knows that's what's gonna happen look he's can utilize his rages and his heals a little bit better and start taking the base part also next thing take a look the queen is still alive there she is right over there still alive that's not a good thing right because his heroes are done what's he gonna do here he's going to use a rage and a skelly spell to take out the queen you have to be careful you have to drop the skelly somewhere where there is no wall because the queen tends to jump wall to wall right so wh where she's at you want to make sure that you drop the skellies there because if you drop them on the other side of the wall they're gonna have to be through the wall to get to her 
So you don't want to do that. You want to make sure that you fa safely know where she's going to be and then drop the Skelly spell onto the queen. And then rage. You also want to try to double down and make sure that you rage when the loons are around because you get a bit more value out that way. And that's exactly what he does right here. Take a look. His loons getting close. He rages it and he drops his skelly spell. And they're going to go after the queen. Queen is dead. See you later. And that's how that goes. He still has a heal left, which I'm sure he's going to use next to the wizard tower, although he doesn't need it. That, my friends, is a swag because this base is completely destroyed. There's nothing left. It's just a bunch of minions right there. He is uh, swagging the, the heal. Nice work, Toby. And that's it. Base is GG. Nice work. So that's what, that's what I mean. If you can set it up nicely and you can make sure that you can send your lava loon into a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction, and you can sort of predict where the loons are going to go, you can build up on them and surgically like send the loons in. You know, you send the hound in, the loons behind, and you just keep building on the hound and the loons around the base as it goes, just like he did right here. So Lava Loon might be a bit difficult, but in this case, as you can see, and Toby, you know, makes it look real easy. <laughs> nice job. Let's get to the next attack. Last but not least, we're going to take a look at another really awesome Queen Walk La Loon attack. In this case, we're going to take a look at the other side, the bro side. Right over here, Little MX was going against Green Arrow. Let's take a look. So now he brings the good old standard. Well, I shouldn't say standard because he brings in a bunch of wall breakers with him, which I guess is, you know, you, you should, right? If you're going to Queen Charge into the base. He brings in uh, some a bit more extra minions, but really a couple of hounds loons standard army that you would normally bring with the lava loon attack and again what do you want to do when you're running a successful lava loon attack you want to take apart the enemy queen you want to take out the clan castle if it's going to hurt your troops and whatever else you can get is extra kudos for you extra basically icing on the cake right if you can take out uh, like i say for example a wizard tower right here or an extra archer tower or an expo or all of that above and i mean yeah, it's great. It's going to help your loons on the back end. In this case, he's using the queen. As you can see, he's going to be raging her soon. He's using wall breakers to get her in to make sure that she takes out the um, air defense as well as the expo right here, as well as this queen. He's really trying to get to the queen. That's his key. That's what he's trying to do. His king over here, that's what he's doing. He's funneling this side for the queen to make sure that she gets him. Rage and the wall breakers at the same time that helps the wall breakers really nice job access in there he gets the queen and he gets the clan castle at this point the queen his queen is raged notice everything else is nice and easy that's all you have to do she's just got to be raged and she'll take out that he drops a poison to slow everything down really nicely done the king is dead his baby dragon is still up top doing work which is really nice but other than that he's got a wall breaker to there look how much of the base he's taken out so, and that's the key here, right? Notice, what is he doing? He is taking apart the base. He's created a runway for his loons and his hounds. And he's also taking apart the key components. He's taken, a, uh, he took, he destroyed Green Arrow's queen. And he took apart the clan castle. He also got the expo. Uh, I think there was a wizard tower or archer tower and a whole bunch of more stuff. That's really good value right there. So when you're looking to come into the base, and that's what you want to look for. You want to count those things and see how much value you can get out of your queen depending on where she gets in like i said keep in mind queen and clan castle you have to get those out if you're running a lava loon attack like in this case or if you're running maybe a skelly with the rage like the other attackers did but so he started his lava loon he started going clockwise from six o'clock look he's building up on the loons and the you know the the loons and the hounds in front and he's got the minions right behind taking care of the cleanup making sure that everything is still moving forward his queen is still alive he still has a pop left on her and still a loon and a bunch of things in the bag i mean he's good to go he popped the queen this base is done he's got nothing left all of the loons are still alive really nice job again planning to execution that's what you gotta do. He took apart the base really nicely, took apart those key components, ran a really nice lava loon attack, was patient, and came home with a three-star little MX. Nice job.
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to wrap up this video. I sincerely hope you enjoyed and learned something today. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, folks. You should definitely stay tuned for all of the things I have coming from you for Clash of Clans and a bunch of other things. You definitely want to stay tuned to Scrappy Academy, so make sure you subscribe. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.